Andrew McAllister. You may have watched the previous video about the student feedback on the laptop program from 2018. And now we're gonna provide some specific guidance for you if you're coming in for registration assistance days in 2018 because it's a bit of a strange year this year. Um, lots of changes with laptops with Intel's introduction of their eighth generation processors. And as well, we have some specific advice about some new two-in-one models and also for users who are considering buying an Apple laptop. So let's get started. We've been evaluating computer models since the winter and a lot has changed and from a variety of different vendors. We think we've landed on a few models, but some of them are not even out yet. So here's our first piece of advice. If you're thinking of buying a new machine, the best thing you can do is just wait until later in the summer when some of the newer models are out and also that there will likely be back to school specials. So first piece of advice. Second, this year we are allowing students in any program area to choose either a Mac or PC. So if you're going into graphic design or advertising or illustration, we previously only used to recommend Apple options and now we're recommending wholeheartedly Windows options. And you know why? Because Dell and other manufacturers like Microsoft have got some fantastic options for students who want to draw on their computers. So this is Dell's new XPS 2-in-1. Why is it a 2-in-1? Because you can turn it over and draw on the screen like this. It's a touch screen. It also has an active pen. We think this is a fantastic option for creative students. So fantastic things coming from Dell. Likewise, if you looked at the survey feedback, students were really happy last year with the Surface models. This is a Surface Book 1, but the Book 2s are fantastic machines, and there's a 13 and 15 inch model out, and uh, they both have NVIDIA discrete graphics, and we think that these are fantastic options for students. What's primarily different between this and the Dell option is that with the Surface model, you can detach the screen, which is quite nice. Uh, it does not flip over and around. Um, the other difference is that the graphics card for this machine does reside in the keyboard. So if you do detach the screen, you get a bit more performance um, if it's plugged in here. If you're, going into, if you're going into a program such as material art design, environmental design, industrial design, integrated media, where you're almost absolutely going to run Windows software, we really highly recommend or stress that you look at the Windows PC options first. Why is that? Well, one. With the Apple MacBook Pro, you have to run something called Boot Camp, where we install Windows on your Mac and it takes up essentially half of your available um, storage space. And what we found is, is that students aren't really fond of this experience. It, you have to actually reboot the entire computer and often your files on your Mac side are not available to the files on the Windows side and, and students um, don't always totally understand this and it's not the greatest experience for them. The second thing is that students who bought 13-inch MacBook Pros in those program areas were much less happy with their computers than other users. That's the second reason. The third reason is that Apple has not updated its hardware in quite a long time. And far be it from me to tell you not to buy an Apple computer right about now, but there's a lot of guidance out there on YouTube and other expert websites who are saying that we really might advise you to wait until Apple brings out some new machines. These are running Intel's seventh generation processors. They're not running the, the eighth generation processors like the Dell and uh, the Microsoft options. And so for that reason, we might recommend that you, if you are a dedicated Mac user, that you just hang on until Apple revises its product line. The other reason uh, you should look to some of the PC options is um, Dell has a workstation class laptop. So this is, you, it looks exactly like the Dell XPS uh, standard laptop, but this is actually their precision laptop. Um, it has a fantastic screen, but it also has uh, NVIDIA Quadro graphics built in. So um, uh, Autodesk applications are optimized for the Quadro graphics card, and you will get a lot more performance out of this machine than you would out of an equivalent uh, MacBook Pro or uh, other options. We're gonna update this video later on in the summer, but until that time, we suggest that you check out our YouTube channel and some of the playlists that we've created. When you register, check out our Canvas course and like and subscribe.